Mr. Soto, what can I do for you? I need you to come in on Saturday and okay. finish my report. Mr. Soto, I, I gotta take care of my grandmother this Saturday. Your grandmother? I'm trying to run a business. But you know how important family is to me, Mr. Soto. Take sacrifice, which I did for years. That's why I'm the boss. I don't know what you expect me to do. What, complain, work efficiently, and come in on Saturday? No, that would be unreasonable. Saturday, just come in on Saturday. How about that? Grandma, your cookies are the best. And those are for the children's benefit. I need them all. So, you gonna tell me about your week? Nothing much to say. Stevie, I know you. I can tell something's the matter. Yeah, it's just unbearable working for Mr. Soto. Ever since I was in college, you know, I, look, I looked up to him like he was an idol. He was like my mentor. You know, I, I went to seminars, I read all his books, the whole nine yards. And now I realize how much the antithesis I am of him. Those are for the children's benefit. I need them all. Yeah, I just can't take it anymore. I met with the national sales manager the other day, and he told me if Mr. Soto leaves his position, there might be a spot for me. That's amazing. Well, baby, sometimes life has mysterious ways of working things out. Of course I miss you. I miss your sensual, seductive... Sarah? I'll text you later, bye. Hey, what's for dinner? Uh, I don't know. Why didn't you pick something up? I was at my grandma's. I thought you said we'd make dinner. Uh, I'm actually going out, so... You're going out? Yeah, with friends. <laughs> with friends? Yeah. You know, to the bar, get some drinks. Oh, and I'm staying with a friend tonight, so... Get some food ever? Hey, Don. Bon appetit. I think Sarah's seeing someone. Oh, be silly, baby. She loves you very much. She didn't come home last night. That two faced bitch. Grandma! I hope she gets run over by a car. Grandma! Hey, you! Hey, Mr. Dugrat, what can I do for you? You break the lease agreement. How? You have extra tenants here. No, it's just me and my roommate Julia. Can you pay a parking fee? I don't have a car, Mr. Dugrat. You can't, must go. It's always fucking mowing around. 
cats allowed in the lease agreement. And tell your bitch stop bringing strangers here. It's not the sushi though. To what? For how? And you just let the whole neighborhood know my girlfriend's cheating on me. I'm sure the whole neighborhood already knew. Seriously, Grandma? Mm. I'm sorry, Stevie. Sometimes life isn't fair. But when life gives you lemons... I know, like Grandpa used to say, rub them in your enemy's eyes. I couldn't have said it better myself. Hi, I'd like to report a crime. It's a, a man that's dealing in human trafficking. Yes, yes. He lives in my neighborhood, and he needs to be stopped. Uh, he's very suspicious looking. I think I've seen him in a leather jacket, yes. Grandma, it's my boss. They said he got poisoned. Hooray! What goes around comes around. Now you can get that promotion. Oh my god, that's my landlord on TV! Bergerov discovered the big kingpin in human trafficking ring. I always thought he seemed suspicious. Could this day get any more bizarre? Everything happens in threes. What's that supposed to mean? You just wait. Oh my god, I need to talk to Sarah. Jason. What? You left a hickey. What? Yo, man, I don't mean any trouble. Steve. I'm fucking out of here. No, wait, Steve. Steve, can you wait? Just get out of here. I'm gonna back you better have all this shit backed up. They're cheating on my house. I'm fucking out of here. How do you know he's not my brother? I told you everything happens in threes. 